Hello and welcome to today's MTD Daily. Remember, we're doing this uh, every day of the working week uh, and always joined by a guest. Uh, today we have Steve Finn, Managing Director of DMD Mori UK. Uh, Steve, welcome to the show. How are things with you? Well, it's a beautiful sunny day in Newark, so uh, can't complain. But yeah, um, business is moving on, as we're going to probably discuss in a moment. But yeah. Well, well, I, well, I normally see you in Coventry. Obviously, you're not there at the moment. Um, you're working from home like most of us. You still able to do uh, your normal day-to-day -day activities? I've never been busier, actually. <laughs> it's been a very strange situation. Um, it is amazing how you can change the way that you do work and still be, become effective or be effective. Um, we still got a lot of uh, field staff working uh, under the right conditions, which is very important, obviously, um, but going to the right industries. And, and, and as for, um, I, I know this isn't a, a kind of a promotional uh, feature about, you know, selling machines, but how are things generally for you, generally for you on that side of things? Because I believe you still are moving some kit, even in these challenging times. Yeah, we've had a couple of orders already this month, which is, is really interesting. Um, there are people sitting waiting to press the button, but of course they're going to wait and to see what happens, um, which is, is very understandable. Um, but the important thing is, is how we, we service the customer. That, that's really important. And that was always actually an issue that was going to come from Brexit, which seems a, a long distant memory now. But nevertheless, um, you know, there are customers out there. We've had service engineers working all weekend uh, on two particular customers that we've both got up and running, one of them with a serious uh, spindle failure. Um, but we've got them up and running within the weekend, got parts to them from Germany, and both of those customers were manufacturing medical equipment. Um, and I've been amazed, actually, and, and it's really heartwarming as well, how manufacturing has come you know, to the fore in the ventilation challenge, uh, how companies have joined forces, um, we've done our bit and supported a number of customers, um, and I would say some of those customers where they, they're the good customers, we've given them free of charge service as our contribution towards it. But it's been amazing how manufacturing has come and raised to the challenge. It's really good. It really has, and I mean, we you know we talk to guests every day, and not just the suppliers like yourselves, but also the the end users, and they're they're still busy, and they and they really are up up for the challenge. Um, Steve, what about things? You talk about servicing. I'm interested. I did have a a, a conversation the other day with a company where. They were still trying to obviously service their customers, but sometimes the guys staying in hotels was becoming a problem if they needed to travel and things like that. They're kind of logistical things that we don't often think of, aren't they? We never think of it. We, we drop of a hat, we go into a hotel, we have a dinner, we have a pint. It's easy work. But now we've got to think a little bit harder. So we, we are lucky because we have a, um, always looked how our service engineers and particularly our application engineers are based up and down the country. Now, I've got an example this week where I've got a guy from Newcastle going down to Weymouth, which is a problem. But what we're looking at is um, some self-rented uh, apartments, which we look like we can get some now, because then that's great because they can pop into Tesco's, get some food, get some, do some cooking, have a nice bacon sandwich for breakfast. But um, that is the logistics of it is actually more difficult. Um, finding uh, the right drivers to do deliveries finding the right drivers to deliver machines. Um, they have limited resources and we have to use them very, very carefully. So it does make you think, but we can carry on. So we've got machines being delivered. Um, we've got spare parts that are still actively coming in uh, from Germany predominantly, and we're delivering those. And we have service engineers in the field as well. Working. And and what about on the sale of your machine, Steve? We we do a lot with DMG Mori, and we talk about your financing options. Uh, this is a very attractive route, isn't it, for your customers? Has that helped uh, in in recent um, you know capital goods sales for you? It, enormously. Uh, last two orders this this month have been through DMG Mori Finance. It gives customers the opportunity to tailor a package to exactly what they need. So, for example, one particular customer has ordered, he's not so interested in um, a six months deferred, but a, close, a ramp up between now and the next 18 months. And it gradually feeds up as his production is invoiced. So that, that suits his needs as well. Um, Directly financing machine tools and nothing else. We are experts at it. We put a high residual value on the product, so therefore it gives a much, much lower monthly rental cost. And we can be so flexible. 
And I, and I think in today's market, that's going to be very important for end users. Um, talk to DMG Mori about their finance options. They are um, they are yeah very, very impressive. Steve, I want to learn a little bit about um, the group maybe in general and how things are overseas in Germany and, and, and other areas. Uh, what's happening at the moment? Well, in, in Germany, uh, we have a shutdown for the whole of April uh, for the factories, um, for economic and for obviously health and safety reasons as well. Um, In Italy, we heard only this morning that they can start releasing goods as of next week, which is useful uh, because obviously they've been hit really, really hard. There's certain parts of America have locked down, but um, generally speaking, that's that's all working. Um, Japan is working as normal. Um, so deliveries are coming into the docks as normal and we're, we're either storing them for customers where they've come in over the last few weeks or one or two customers have had them delivered. One customer had uh, a machine delivered uh, only last week. So it's a real balancing act all the way down the line to, to make sure that we can um, support the customers, also support the staff and make sure that we're giving those staffs good working practices, good healthy systems to work within um, and look after them generally because they're for the long term. Yeah, I mean, it, it was encouraging um, your comments and, and we spoke about before this interview about uh, Bergamo. I've been there myself uh, many years ago, which is a is a manufacturing plant within the group, a very hard hit area. In fact, the epicenter um, in, in Italy. Um, but as you've as you've rightly said, they're kind of beginning to see, uh, you know, the light again and and the factories are open. So that's that's really good news. Um, Steve, uh I know outside of what's going on at the moment, we will come through this uh, as a nation and globally. Um, what are the trends and will things change as a result of this pandemic, do you think? I, I think everything will change. Your behaviour will change. Um, circumstances will change with supply chains, which I, I, I would like to think that, that big OEMs would now really begin to understand how important it is to have local source, local supply manufacturing. Um, you know, the, the DMG Mori Finance, as we just mentioned, will be an important feature because there will be a cash flow deficit for a lot of people. Um, and then we're here to support that and make sure that people can then reinvest, start actually production, start invoicing before they're paying us. So there's going to be a lot of changes. And I think that we've also found that we can work from home a lot easier. You know, I spend a lot of my time actually in hotels up and down the country. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it might be that now I can actually work a little bit more from home. The technology that we have through Teams or Skype, which we're using at the moment, um, you know, is it, fantastic. You have to learn how to use it. But, yeah, behaviour will change in a big way, I think, Paul. Um, and one of the interesting things that that um, uh, we we do with yourselves at DMG Mori is, and a fixture in your calendars are your local events around the world. These are becoming very important in the businesses. Uh, marketing messages, aren't they, and, and, and getting products to market. That's going to continue to grow as well, I believe. That's going to grow, you know, very, very big because if you look at the front and show that we do at the beginning of the year, you know, we end up something like um, between eighteen and 20,000 people there uh, and they're coming for a purpose. They're coming just to see our product. Um, and, of course, you're seeing the manufacturing as well as all the other products on display. And they will be that will be represented in Bergamo, at Seebeck, um, in uh, Tortona, uh, and also other countries like America with Davis, and of course Japan. So it, I think it's more important that we take our customers to somewhere where we can show them a real big live story uh, and understand. And, and one of the plants is, is uh, that we will be going to certainly later on in the year will be FAMOP which we we have big investment of new equipment in there, but also how it's run digitally. So it's a digital factory, um, and we can show exactly what we mean by let's use the DMG Mori digital platform. Uh, Steve, uh, really is fan. Some of the technology coming out of DMG Mori really is something else. In fact, we were uh, lucky enough to go to Fronten, and I'm sure we'll visit many of the other factories in the future. Uh, Steve, we're going to close this off now. I'm just going to ask you one final question: um, Is 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 your wife pleased that you're going to be working more from home in the future, or does she not know yet? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> really. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and I look forward to actually catching up with you again when we can face to face in the near future. Thank you very much. All right. Paul, keep safe. 
Uh, there you have it, Steve Finn, Managing Director at DMG Mori UK. A few points we touched on there that really should be of interest to you as end users, certainly their flexible finance options, and of course their technology, which you can see uh, all across the MTD channels. That's it for today uh, on MTD's Daily.